Hi guys, welcome back to OC Avery and welcome back to the Natives in Norwich Zoom Room. Now today we're joined by Mr Eddie Darcy, one of the founding members of the Irish Fancy Canary Society. So today we're going to focus on the history of the Irish Fancy from getting them as a declared breed, getting them into the shows and actually getting them to the world show uh, about 10 or so years ago. So we'll get started. But just before we do, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Avian World Dublin for sponsoring the Natives and Norwich group. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Natives and Norwich Zoom Room. Now today uh, we've got a bit of an outreach episode and we are joined by Mr Eddie Darcy with the Irish Fancy. So thank you for coming on Eddie. Um, so would you please like to introduce yourself and tell us a bit about the Bird you Keep? My name is Edward Darcy. I'm from Balbriggan, County Dublin. From the age of 10 years of age, I was a board fancier. I took up boards. My father was a pigeon fancier. And I, I was breeding uh, native boards and Norwich and Yorkshire canaries. And later on in life, when I had the, good, the Norwich and the Yorkshire canaries winning in Arco for me, in the 60s, I had the best Norwich, the best Yorkie, the best unflighted Yorkie, the best York in show, and the best board in show. So I wasn't able to take home all the cups that day, and I was on the train. <laughs> wow. Uh, the best sport, the, uh, the best Irish fancy in the 70s uh, was well known as a, as a roller canary, Irish roller. And as I say, you should always have nothing on the Irish uh, roller canary schedules and their classes. So the Irish fancy was classed as an AOV for many years. So we weren't winning as Irish fancy. The Irish Agriculture Society, as I said, was a committee of members of clubs from all over Ireland. And they held a meeting in Dublin in a hotel and the committee appointed five judges to sit to set the standard for the Irish fancy. In 1975, 74, sorry, the meeting was held in the Dublin hotel. The judges were picked was Edward Darcy Balbriggan, Bill Garrett from Bray, Jimmy Hogan from Marklow, Mrs. Lily Claffey from Dublin, and Mr. Jim Flynn from Drada. The standard, the standard Irish fancy was a yellow cock belonging to Mr. Jimmy Jones of Wexford Town. And on that day, in 1974, the IFC was born. Fantastic. Oh, brilliant. You know, the other bit I want to talk about is the word, the word show. Yeah, that's great. So just with, with that on the world show then, so obviously you're the first man uh, to take the Irish fancy to the world show. So how did that yeah. sort of kick off? How did, um, you know, you, you, you manage to do that? Well, the world show, with the help of Morris O'Connor and myself, and with the help of the IOA in England, we, we got our boards. I, I got them over with the carrier uh, and Morris picked them up in Birmingham in a, in a car park and got them ready and sent them to it. We had a show at three shows before we got the actual points to be called an Irish fancy new breed. So on the third show in Belgium, we got enough of points and set out the Irish fancy for the world show. That's how it all started. The world show in 19, in, in, uh, in 17, oh no, sorry, the world show on the 17th and 28th of January 2008 in Belgium, we managed to obtain the positive points for the show at last, from the last two previous shows, world shows. So the Era Ornithology Association, COM Ireland, we started and we showed. Uh, our first show was we had several Irish fancies shown at that show. A few members showed, and uh, John Doyle was the one who won a gold medal, and that was the first medal for Ireland at the time. And that's way back in two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Wow. So we we got we ha we got, had to get a, a, a set certificate, and we had to send that into the Department of Agriculture to get it stamped and get a permit back so that we could show the boards. So that was all done. That was done all above board. 
a memorable, memorable day on the bench and winning. I had an Irish fan seeking car in the 90s with a green, a yellow green cop, and I'm sorry, a yellow green and a small bird with a good, a good uh, sign of the Irish fancy and showering. And I won, I won the best Irish fancy with it. And at that same board, bred a yellow variegated cock that won in the tours for me in 2011. I got a gold medal with it. Oh, brilliant. Well, that's, that's a great result. So, um, so it's it's only really been thirteen years since the Irish Fancy has actually been, um, you know, introduced into the World Show. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Uh, uh, Two thousand eight, uh, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Wow. So. so in two thousand. Wow. Yeah. So so previously from that, the Irish Fancy was only ever seen at. Um, Sort of specialist shows, uh, Cage Bird Society shows, and, and so in, forth. In Ireland, yeah. Well, our, our, our Irish fancy show in Ireland in 2019, we we staged 720 Irish fancy. So that's uh, the nearly the highest the highest number of boards in any show in in the Ireland of Ireland. Wow, uh, 700 uh, of the same breed. Wow. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. We have five or six judges to judge them. <laughs> well, yeah, I can so, imagine that would be. I imagine that was a pretty large classes, wasn't it? Yeah, but that would be be class of 21, 22, 30 in some classes. Wow. So, some sorting you. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, uh, that's amazing. That, that was an art club. So, uh, Irish Fancy first ever show was held in, uh, in Wexford. With a small number of boards, say up to a hundred boards, and that was way back in in 1974, where we uh, Arklow, a Wexford town, offered to run our show with in conjunction with their show. So that's where we got started the Irish Fancy. So uh, at the moment, let's see how I have a few moments. Few moments. And get the <laughs> the first AGM, the first AGM of the IF, IFCS, was held in the Oaklands Hotel, on the, on the, a Thai road in Carlo, on Sunday the second of February, nineteen seventy five, at four p.m. And the set to set the standard, and the scale of points, for the Irish Fancy and its showcase. Mr. Willie Brennan was the chairman, and Mr. P. J. Lamb was the, was the secretary, and Mr. Matt Bulger was the treasurer. In in nineteen on the twenty fifth of May, nineteen seventy five, Mr. Ned Marr was was a uh, elected president. Has passed away since, so we have a, a new president at the moment. The fourth show was held in conjunction with the Wexford show, and uh, on Sunday, the eleventh of September. 1977, I was elected chairman of the of the Irish Fancy on a Sunday at the 26th, 1987. Carmel Bulger was appointed as secretary, and she was an excellent secretary for many, many, many years. She attended shows in England with us in the NEC, and she went to most of the shows around Ireland, travelled up and down to Cork. She was the lady. Her and her husband had passed away. And uh, on 25th of, of April 2005, I was appointed president of the IFCS. On that day, we had an entry over 700 boards in our club. So, wow. can I tell you any more? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Please carry on. <laughs> we, we, uh, we have a, what do you call it here? We drew we drew this up for the can you see that? Yes, go yeah. Up for the word show. For a stand a, a set of points and a, a, a scale of points and uh, the condition the board should be in. And I did a bit of history about it. That was that was set up for the world show to be sent to uh, the world show for judging. This this is a small book. Small book I printed 
myself, I put it together a way back in the in the eighties. Right. To help the novice, right. help the novice uh, get up get up into the Irish fancy. Yeah. And, uh, it, it was a good success set up for me. So I explained to them about breeding, breeding, ringing boards, keeping them clean, showing them, washing them, and uh, sh- getting them ready for showcase show shows. So it's all it's all in that little book. And this is you. the UK one. This is the UK one. Can you see that? Uh yes, with got it. you. Yeah. When we went through with the UK and they they took our boards out. Then we got a, our own carrier, our own uh, convoyer, used to take our boards over to England, pick up the English boards, and drive them to Spain and Portugal and France and all around. And we, they worked together. So wow. now I believe that's finished. We can't do it anymore since the, the Brexit. Yes. We, yeah. can't, we, can't, we can't take the boards into England. But we can take them to France and down through Spain ourselves. But there's, there's, there's the, there's the board we're looking for. Can you see that? Yeah, got you. So, um, excellent. Uh, so since 1974 to uh, the present day, uh, how's the standard of the Irish fancy changed? Standard of the Irish fancy is getting better every year. Brilliant. There's and... lots of fanciers with good, good standard of board. The chap with the name of Paul Brogan down the north has excellent stock. John Barron, uh, John Dowling, uh, there's several of them down, Tim, uh, Tom O'Regan, who's the secretary now, and uh, the chairman has, has uh, very good boards as well. Excellent. So the boards are getting better every year. A nice head, nice head, nice, nicely marked out according to the, our plan of point standard. Everything is going well. Thank God. Yes. And, so, and the judges are improving. Oh, v- very good. Very good. We're, we're, so we're, how... We're how is a few new judges every year. Got you. So how has that model changed then? Is, is the, have you uh, evolved the model over time? No, it's still it's still the same. Nice, nice round head on the... Round head, nice neat neck. The same around a nice tail. Pipe, the pipe tail. And, and the what do you call it, the wings closely meeting on the back. Right. Nice feather, in good condition. So, Excellent. So, good boards out there. Yeah, so... I wish, you, I, had a, I, wish every, I had a few more of them. Yeah. So every year, you're, um, the, the, the standard of the Irish is getting even closer to that model, then. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, very much, very much. Brilliant. And, and that's, that's, the, that's the plan we drew up at the time. For the show cage, yeah, oh, and wow. that was that was the start of it. And since that, we've added a little bosses on the back of the perches, same as the native cages. So it, it shows off the board. Nice blue. We have our own color and all paint. So other than that, now we uh, we're going from strength to strength. Got the boards. So um, quite a few panniers now. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you mentioned uh, a bit earlier on. Did you, did you say um, s- s- something along the, with the beginning of the world? Sh- um, sorry, the, the beginning of getting it as a recognised breed um, was it was a yellow bird. Is that is that correct? Um, so yellow so, yeah, yeah. Are you, Do you mean like yellow intensive, or is that actually like visually the yellow? No, oh, intensive yellow. Pop. Right. Okay. It was the best. It was ten boards, and that was picked by the five judges, and that's the day the Irish fancy was born. Right. So, it was quite a good few boards there that day, and they were all fairly good boards. But that was the one that was picked out. Yeah. And that's the standard we went by. Got you. So, so um, we set out our points on that. Yeah. So with with um, the, the Irish then, uh, to, uh, to show, for example, you know, perhaps with a native bird, you'll generally see something like a canary bully hybrid up as a, you know, one of the top birds. So, is there a certain uh, colour in the Irish that more more often takes preference? You know, a clear bird, or would that be a green bird, or uh, anything like that? Well, there are green birds, good birds, but the yellow or the buff, buff are doing fairly well. Buff canary. 
Yes. And it's nice to breed the yellow and the buff, keep it, keep the strain right. So uh, that's what we encourage the novice to do, yellow to buff. And uh, the same with, uh, when you're breeding a color, a very gated board is a yellow and a buff, you know, so. Yeah. And you get, you get some nice boards. Got you. So, um, uh, sorry, is it, carry on. I get, I get, I got a good bit of help from my friend down in Gibraltar. Oh yeah. Garcia, Ernest Garcia. And he has given us tremendous help in the Irish favorite, uh, ornithology to keep things going. And when we're looking for a new update, he, he follows up for us and goes to meetings and fights for the Irish fancy. So we have a good friend there. Oh, very good. Um, so, so as a, um, it's a show, for example. Is there more commonly a a certain bird that that takes best bird in show? Um, you know, a certain color type, or is it could it one you know one show go to a variegated cock bird, and then the next it could go to a blue hen, for example? Is there is there a good mix in that? Yeah, there is, but very seldom a variegated bird might get best in show, but it gets best in section. Right. They have best in section in all the sections, and they're all put together. And then, and it's nearly the, the clear board or a good, nice buff or a nice yellow that wins best right. in show, okay. or a nice lightly variegated board. Yeah. So that's no, where we are at the moment. Yeah. So I mean, I, I know obviously there's there's quite a few different colours um, in in the Irish, aren't there? Obviously, they're not a colour canary; they're a type canary. But um, yeah, it, it, there's there's quite a few. Um, so, what's been your me most memorable win on the show bench? Uh, I'd say it was uh, winning a gold medal in tours. In in there she is, though. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> and and, and that, there's there's the rose. Oh, brilliant! Showing you the back of it. Cheers! I lost you. You're gone. You're gone. <laughs> Okay, there we are. So carry on. There's the rosette, first in show. <laughs> Fantastic. That was a yellow. No, that was a, a green, green yellow variegated board that won in, in tours for me. So they do a bit of winning, all right. Oh, so, uh, that's great. Wow. Uh, well, you asked me a question. Another question there. Oh. Yes. Um... Oh yeah, winning on the bench. That was that was. Winning in Cork was another triumph for me. Winning the best in show with a variegated board, a yellow variegated board, a relation of that one that won in tours for me. So, very well. Fantastic. So, uh, you win at the World Show. What, what year was that then? Pardon? Yeah, what, 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 what year was the win at the World Show? 2011. Oh, right. 2010. 2010, Fantastic. I won a gold medal in Porto, and 2011, I won a gold medal in uh, Tours in France. Oh, so, nice one. I have a good uh, collection of medals, I have 12 or 14 of them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but very good. Very good. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like after, you know, a few years of, of managing to get the Irish to the World Show, um, it, it clearly, clearly paid off with some of the birds that you've got, clearly of a, a very high standard. Um, Irish fancy canaries so you know that that that's brilliant so uh, have you got any more to tell us in terms of uh, history of the you know the Irish fancy canary society uh, world show any I don't know any memorable stories from from shows etc well in uh, 2019 I happened to win a silver and a bronze medal in Holland in Seoul with two white boards, so our white boards are very popular too. Oh, white wow. can very fancy. So, uh, yeah, we hope to keep going anyway. I don't know what way it's going to happen now. Next, the you know, next year's show is supposed to be in the, uh, uh, for Alicante, I believe. I'm not sure if it's going to be still there or not. Yeah, I I saw an update on that. I believe the the world sh what is it World Show 2022? I think it is Alicante, isn't it? It was in Valencia, but they cancelled it to Alicante. Because yeah. I, I, I know that, yeah, there was there was one supposed to be uh, in Turkey, I think, wasn't there? Was it? 
Yeah, there's one in Turkey as well. Yeah. Yes, sorry, yeah, that, that's been moved on. Yeah, right. it's, a word, it's actually a world show as well. But I got a schedule for it and I got all the information about it. So we won't be going to Turkey because we can't bring them back from Turkey. If oh, you send right. boards to Turkey, we can't take them back. So that's right. the situation we're in. Oh wow! Now, I, at, at the mo- at the moment, I sent. Hello. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You hear me? Yes. Got you. Hello. Yeah. Now I got a schedule from the World Show, and I I, I got a, a what do you call it a, a a schedule and all for Turkey that we can yeah. send boards to Turkey. But I, I don't think we can take them back. But I, I have sent into the department, the Irish Agricultural Department, and they're calling it live trade now. Not hobby boards, live trade. Oh. So I'm waiting on word from them to see what what uh, we can we can send boards or we're going to get permission to, to send them to Europe, you know? Yeah. So that's the way we are at the moment. We've not, I have no official word back yet. I did get emails from them. But the email, the email is just saying, uh, giving them no idea. They want to know what, what I sent them all the details anyway. But I still got no word back from. Them. Right. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's it's There's, quite unfortunate, isn't it? It's sort of moving backwards yeah. with everything that we, yeah. we, you know, we we can't go and show bir- birds in Europe and and get everyone to a world right. show. So, well, hopefully, it's going to resolve itself soon you know with, with the help of, like you guys contacting and, and trying to get a, a foot in the door with that and moving forward and then obviously you could see large classes of many birds at the world show again so yeah, yeah that would be great a few, boys, a few boys in Ireland now like to get over to England to show and they're yeah. acquiring all the time but they, there's no answer Defra I think is has stopped it at the moment right so if there, there's a point of view there's a what do you call it uh, I don't know whether you can see that or not. No, it's uh, a, it's, it's yes. a certificate. That certificate we were presented with it by the Athlone, the Athlone councillors of Athlone District Council, in, in, for starting the new, welcoming the new uh, Irish Fancy Canary Society, and uh, which gave us a civic reception. We had a great time. So there you are. Oh, I think I covered it all now at the moment. Yeah, well, th- that that's great. Well, Eddie, thank you so much for coming on and and, and sharing, you know, your, your knowledge with yeah. this, and obviously a bit of history for the Irish fancy, which I'm confident people will be looking at in years to come to to hear how it all started. So, massive thank you, mate. Is there anything else you'd like to mention before we finish the recording? We'd like to thank all the fanciers who have showed the Irish fancy and to keep it up. And there were English friends who helped us get the world show. I want to thank them as well. Uh, Richard Lumley was one of our strong bows over there. And, and uh, there was two or three other people. I, I can't think of them at the moment. But I want to thank all of, all of my friend, board friends for showing boards. Uh, just a point of view. There was a man in Drogheda. And he was a, a native board breeder. And I went down to visit him one time. And he, he said to me, are you starting boards, Ed? I am, he says. But see, you know, when you get into boards, you won't make money on them. But you know what you'll do? You'll make plenty of friends. So there you are. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that's very good. Thank Thanks. you very much. <laughs> Thanks very much. No yes, problem. Bye. Bye. So guys, that does bring us to the end of this week's video. So I hope you've enjoyed it and found some useful tips and found the stories interesting from Eddie um, with all the history of the Irish fancy uh, and his experience with them since, uh, you know, 1974 when it all began getting them, dif- you know, differentiated from, I believe he said, the roll canary uh, to actually be the Irish. So thank you very much, Eddie, for uh, coming on the uh, the channel, coming on Zoom and uh, sharing your experience with us. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you have, please smash the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.